Get a good feeling, yeah. Yeah. I get a feeling that I never, 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 never had before. No, no. I'm running with this plan. Pull me, grab me, grab to the bucket, can't have. I'll be the president one day. Damn, rap me first. Or oh, you like that gossip? Like you the one drinking white gossip.com. Now I got a word for your talk. How many roll as long as you want? Yeah, I got a brand new spirit speaking in this gun. Woke up on the side of the bed like I won. Talk like a window, much after that song. G5 in the US to Taiwan. I was to say that. I want to play back. Mama knew I was the leader in the haystack. I'm Bugatti boy. Plus, baby, back. I got a feeling it's a rap. ASAP. Everybody in the building, I need you to put your hands up, put your, put your hands up. Hey, hey, come on, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, the mountain top, walk on water, I got power, feel so for you. One second, I'ma strike all you, time and platinum, no more for you. Never giving in, giving up, start up, she gotta get it in Witness, I got the heart of 20 men No fear, gonna sleep in the lights in That flow, that fuck, that You look at the king of the jungle Stronger than ever, can't hold me down Honey, my son, from the pitcher's smile Straight gang face, it's gang day See me running through the crowd, feel a melee No trick plays, I'm Bill Gates Cause the genius don't understand me Hey, sometimes Put your hands up Put your, put your hands up you papa Woo! that was hot that was hot i absolutely need one of these by the way uh well i think if anybody here needed a reminder why just dance is the number one dance game brand in the world there you have it ladies and gentlemen there you have it florida tell me tell me how much you love this game oh man you know i'm definitely happy to be a part of it my music definitely gets the club going. Yeah. And I mean, it's just something to get people off the, the couches and everything. So yeah. happy to be a part of Just Dance for. Absolutely. Forth. Absolutely. It's hype. I mean, you hear it, you have to get up. Yes. That's what Just Dance is all about. Well, thank you so much. That was killer. Thank you for being here. Thank you. I'm excited. I just got to touch the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Flo Rida one more time. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Thank you, Papa. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2012 Ubisoft E3 Media Briefing. My name is Aisha Tyler. Welcome to the show. It is my extreme pleasure to introduce you to Ubisoft's lineup of new games for 2012 and beyond. And joining me today is going to be the internet sensation known across the web as Tobuscus. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. You. Toby Turner, give it up. Thank you. There now he is. Sit down. 
Sit down, please. Thank you. Toby, no <laughs> one's gotten up, buddy. No one's up. Well, you're standing. I'm standing up because I have to. I'm also. For you. Okay. All right. I'm going to be here backstage answering all kinds of updates uh, about what the internet folk are saying and also uh, talking about the stuff that people asked about before this whole thing started. And I'll have more sentences that I'll say faster. Yeah. <laughs> I would practice, buddy. Okay. We're going to check back with you a little later, right? Uh, now, Ubisoft is a company that has always drawn inspiration from the world that we live in to create games that give rise to unique worlds, iconic characters, and unprecedented connectivity. Games that are inspired by life and that in turn become a part of our lives. To put it another way, life is the fuel that powers the game. And for three decades, Ubisoft teams have used this approach to create games that reflect the grittiness, the beauty, the diversity, and the fun of life. And with a, a clear commitment to new technologies and new platforms, Ubisoft is in a position to make those gaming experiences more powerful than ever before. The result is life-powered play. So let's get into it right now. We got the party started with Just Dance. And the hot girls, don't lie, you were looking at the hot girls. Even the girls were looking at the hot girls. You know, we're a little bit gay, all of us. Our next game, <laughs> let's just admit it now. Our next game is in a dress. <laughs> a little tiny bit. Gonna hug it out backstage. Our next game is an adrenaline-fueled open-world adventure set on a stunningly beautiful tropical island. But trust me, this will be no day at the beach. Far Cry 3 is going to change the way that you play. And here to tell you all about it is Far Cry 3 producer Dan Hay and lead game designer Jamie Keane. Give it up. All right. Last year, we introduced you to Voss in a new brand of insanity. As Jason, you were captured, you were tortured, you were nearly killed. But this year is different. You're no longer a victim. The island has changed you, and now it's you who's hunting boss. Let's take a look. You live for battle. Every man you fight dies and deserves to have his life taken from him. You wear the tatao. You feel the jungle around you. You are Rakyat. Across this island, Vas and his pirates enslave the bodies and the minds of the Rakyat. Our guns do not stop until Vas falls at our feet. We are the warriors of the Rakyat, and I will lead you to glory! Boss.
my sister's company huh? <laughs> she's gonna make a warrior out of you you are so fucked jason come on pull the trigger come on motherfucker pull the trigger let's go shoot me let's go shoot me shoot me you are me
us very, very closely this week. We've got plenty of surprises for you. Thanks very much, everybody. Woo! Hey, Dan, uh, can I just say for the beginning of that, hot, uh, hot it out. And also, I have a question. Can I ask a question? Yeah, fire away, dude. Are you live? All right, let's do it. It's, uh, it was asked before the briefing uh, on the Far Cry Facebook page by Jesus, and he asked, how much freedom do you have to explore the game's world? Great question. Great question. Far Cry is all about freedom. It's all about exploration, discovery, action, adventure, and its same cast of characters, hallucinations, and not one, not two, not three, but an entire archipelago of islands for you to discover. And that's just single player. That was awesome. By the way, now I want to get a tiger, use it as a weapon, and then shoot it. Uh, we now move from that beautiful tropical island of insanity to a world facing an international terrorist plot that could be ripped from today's headlines. And that can only mean one thing, Splinter Cell. Yeah. So excited. Wait, what? Toby, it's fun it's what? funny you should mention that. Yeah? Toby, you're just gonna bust in every time, buddy? Is that cool? Yeah, well, no, I have but go nuts. control issues. Okay. Uh, this is all scripted. I'm backstage right now with the Splinter Cell director of Blacklist, Max Bellon. How you doing? I'm doing amazing. Good to hear. We just, uh, we just showed the game at the Microsoft press briefing this morning. The reaction was insane. I couldn't, I couldn't th stop smiling. I was on stage. I'm super, super proud of you know, the team in Toronto, what we've done. It's, it's great. I'm, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the co-op from Conviction. Is that going to come back in this? Yes. I mean, Splinter Cell Blacklist is the biggest Splinter Cell we've ever done. So, you know, this morning we showed single player, right? Splinter Cell is back. Now we're doing the co-op that you love from Conviction. That's back. It's bigger than before. And we've also announced this morning that we're doing the Spy versus Mercs that the fans really want. And do you have a surprise for us here we can yeah, show? Yeah, I actually brought our uh, release uh, trailer. You did? Yeah, and it's called uh, Welcome to Fort Echelon. Let's do it. In Washington today, more rumors of the blacklist. Gentlemen, the blacklist is real. Rogue intel agencies like Third Echelon are the problem here, not the solution. I want every single operation related to them grounded and gutted now. I'm shutting Third Echelon down, effective immediately. That's the signal. We're on. Sam, we're ready. Need options. Grim. The closest exit point is the roof of the south wing. There is no program, no secret spies, no hidden agendas. Any questions? Who the hell are you? CIA? Delta? Welcome to Fourth Echelon.
let's play a game entitled, Let's Count How Many Times Aisha Gets Girlwood during this presentation. We're up to two. Uh, as you can see, Sam Fisher is a hero who reflects our times, but our next game is about to bring you some of the greatest superheroes of all time. And even if you're one of the, like, four people in the entire world who hasn't seen Marvel's Avengers yet, there is an incredible chance you're going to love this next game. Here comes Girlwood number three. Take a look. I think I just got Girlwood. Is yeah, that yeah. Well, you're, when you get wood, it's always Girlwood, buddy. Well, oh, thank you. Yeah. Did I just see a Wii U logo? More importantly. Uh, yeah, Toby, it was a Wii U logo. Oh my God. Yeah, because in our next segment, we are going to be presenting. Well, you guessed it. The Wii U. Wow. Okay, you did guess it. I did. Uh, yeah. The launch of any new platform is a great opportunity to innovate, create, to create fresh and exciting gameplay experiences. And that sense of innovation and creativity is the heart and soul of Ubisoft. It is in the company's DNA. Whether it's exploring new IPs or pushing existing franchises to the next level, Ubisoft continues to be a pioneer on new platforms. And it makes sense then that Ubisoft would turn to one of its most creative brands as the flagship for its development slate of the Wii you and here to show you the next generation of gaming with Wii U and the reinvention of a Ubisoft icon is Rayman Senior Game Manager Michael McCulloch. Hey! Welcome to Rayman Legends! All right, thank you, thank you. So after we wrapped up Rayman Origins, which won multiple Platformer of the Year awards, thanks to many of the fine people in this room, thank you very much, thanks. Afterwards, Michel Ancel, Rayman's creator, finally got his hands on the brand new Wii U gamepad and started coming up with lots of crazy ideas about how we could use it for Rayman. So let's take a look at a few of them now. All right, I'm joined on stage by Julien, David, and Emile. Now please note, we are using early Wii U development kits, so the Wii U gamepad is still using wires, but the final version will of course be wireless. We're also really excited to show you the new Wii U Pro Controller that we'll be playing with as well. Now as you can see, we have a brand new playable character. His name's Murphy. He's our dedicated player for the new Wii U controller and has lots of crazy moves using the touch screen. Let's watch how Rayman and Murphy work together to get through the map. Each controller has specific actions and roles. The combination of sticks and buttons and touch-based gameplay create an infinite amount of co-op combos.
for the purposes of this demo, we've only been showing the two-player experience, so let's have Glowbox jump in. In the final version of the game, you'll actually be able to play with up to five players on the Wii U, and you can of course use your Wii remotes at home. All right, great job, guys, but it is not over yet. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right, finally, we're really excited to show you one of our brand new maps. Keep an eye on Murphy's screen because he sees something different to help the guys get through the map. All right, for all you people watching at home, turn up the volume. Enough of me talking. Let's do this, guys. I mainly play shooters, uh, and I have no idea what was just happening in the game, but it looked crazy, crazy fun. Uh, that was amazing, and that is not all that Ubisoft is offering you for the Wii U's launch, all right? I want you guys to take a minute now to put the kids to bed really early in the day, uh, because this next Wii U exclusive is an M-rated survival horror first-person shooter that drops you right into the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Mmm. Save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen, God save the queen, send her victorious, happy and glorious, long
with a gun sword. That was so awesome! Uh, a lot of people are wondering what happened to the killer freaks that were in the last year edition of this game. Oh, yeah. Well, um, as the game was developed, uh, the tone shifted a bit, and then the killer freaks slowly evolved into super awesome, gore, delicious, eating zombies. Zombies? Yeah, zombies. Who doesn't love a zombie? You do know about evolution. one person. You okay. know about evolution, maybe, maybe. though, right? You know about evolution, right, Toby? Uh, evolution? Yeah. Uh, no, I try to keep as little knowledge in here as possible. I don't want to get cluttered or anything. You got plenty of room, buddy. Plenty of room. Uh, we're going to check back in with you later. Because okay? my head's big. Uh, yeah, my big head. I, know, I know, it's crazy. Okay. As you just saw in both games, Ubisoft is always striving to stay at the forefront of new technologies. And that commitment to innovation is on display in Ubisoft's impressive lineup of games for the new Wii U. It is a broad, rich lineup that offers something for everyone from core gamer to casual. Here is a little taste of what's next. As you can see, Ubisoft is ready for the future. But our next game, Assassin's Creed 3, yes! Oh, yes! Proves that Ubisoft is not afraid to take you back in time as well. For the first time ever, Ubisoft is ready to immerse you in the history of America. AC3 is more than the next step in the evolution of Ubisoft's massive worldwide hit. This is a revolution. They speak of liberty and justice, but for who?
right? Holy crap. Here to tell you more about killing Templars in the new world is Assassin's Creed 3 producer Francois Pellon. Assassin's Creed has always been about exploring pivotal moment of human history. The, re the American Revolution was not just a key moment for America, but for the world, reshaping the way people thought about the government and forever sh shifting the balance of power. Along the way, our new assassin, Connor, will be joined by a new cast of historical figures, including George Washington, Benjamin Franklin, Lafayette, and Lee, just to name a few, as he will help ignite the conflict that will create a new nation. I'm joined on the stage by Philippe Bergeron, mission director, to present to you Assassin's Creed III. My Mercury shipment hasn't arrived. Can you help me? Here is the meat you requested. Thank you. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. Where is Silas? Still holed up in the fort along the cliff. I hear he plans to leave tonight with a small force and attack a continental camp further south. You could follow them. Let the Patriots fight their own battles. I'm here for the Templar. <laughs> to the point as always. Very well, stick to the woods. The fort is heavily defended, but if you approach silently, we should be able to make short work of them. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh my God. Did you watch? <laughs> Francois, I have a fan question for you, though I would love to sure, hear that for the absolutely. rest of the time. Mm -hmm. This question was asked by a member of the UK named Brett, who is the enemy, on the Assassin's Creed Facebook fan page. And he asks, will there be a lot of focus on the British forces being the enemy? All right, that's a great question, Brett. <laughs> In Assassin's Creed, the enemy's always been the Templars. And it's still true in Assassin's Creed 3. But truthfully, the real answer is in the game itself. It's a huge game covering 30, game, 30 years before, during, and after the revolution. You'll be fighting enemies on both sides of the war, on two legs and four, in cities, in the wilderness, in summer, and in the cool. snow. Here's a sneak peek. Thank you, Francois. That was incredible. Oh my God. I think that we can probably all agree at this point we've seen an incredibly impressive slate of AAA blockbusters so far, right? Are you guys feeling it? Are you feeling it? Uh huh. It's amazing. Uh, but Ubisoft is dedicated to finding innovative ways to connect gamers with a variety of new game types. And one of the fastest growing segments of gaming is the esport genre. Toby, do you want to come out and help me introduce this? As long as I can make an, en an entrance. Can I make an entrance? You can make. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Toby Tobias Turner. I dropped my mic. I dropped, dropped my mic. Okay, maybe, maybe that, that was a big entrance, but maybe not the one that you wanted. Oh, I, I completed oh, it. Oh, nice. I followed through. So, uh, as we all know, esports are better than the other ones. This is a lot of mic because you don't have to go outside to play them. And uh, that's why more than 17 people, million of Se those people, more than 17 much, people. much more than 17 people, <laughs> tune in every month to watch esports on Twitch TV. Yes, and the players keep getting better and better. Not me. <laughs> no, why not? Lack of talent. Mm, that could be that can be worked on. Can it? No. Would you train? Uh, Esports <laughs> are becoming as competitive and as exciting as any other sports. Have you noticed that? I have. Yeah. It's, that's the thing I've noticed. Yeah. And now with Nadeo, the studio that brought you the smash hit <laughs> online racing game track Mania, Ubisoft is proud to show you the next step in the esports genre, and it is called. Shoot Mania. Sorry, I was reading. Your, I was reading it. You know, right what, you know what girls love, Toby? Uh, when, what's when, that? Uh, you know what girls love, Toby? What's that? When guys go first. They do? No. Oh. It's not like I'm trying to host a show, but I'm just going gonna, gonna to continue oh, on, so, as we usually have to joking. do when guys finish that's, before we that's do. That's a good point. Anyway, Shoot Mania is a new first-person shooter specifically tailored for the eSports. Awesome. You said first-person shooters. I love first-person. It's so quick. Every go, time. Go. Thank you. You don't want to wait for me? Yeah, it's my brain. It's working too fast. Okay. You want to host the show? Is that what you want to do? Can I host a show? No. Oh. No, but you know what? Okay, you know what? If you want to host the show, let's, let's make a little wager, all right? We'll, okay. we'll, play for, we'll play Shoot Mania. We'll have a little showdown, a little Shoot Mania showdown. Yeah, or as, as the people at Ubisoft like to call it, Shoot Mania. Shoot and, Mania? Uh, yes, Shoot Mania. Uh, and, uh, and maybe you can beat me, and if you beat me, you can host the show. Maybe. I could. You don't want to do that. I was, I was born, I came out of the womb with an Xbox controller. That so. must have been really weird for your mom. Yeah, and it was strange because it hadn't even been invented. I must have invented it while I was in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm really, I, I am pretty talented, I guess. You're talented? Are you talented? Do you want to play? Okay. Let's have a, we'll have two bro programmers play for us. How about that? That way okay, it's cool. even. It's, yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want you to see what I can do. I don't do. want you to so. smoke me um, right. or, or get smoked by a giant black girl. So uh, if your team wins, then you can host the show, right? Deal. Okay. And then if my team wins, you go away. Okay, uh, okay. To backstage? Back to, back to backstage, yeah. Okay, and I'll right. bring you some snacks or whatever. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's meet the shoutcasters right now. Miss Harvey and Joe Miller. Woo! Give it up for them. Woo! Yeah. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome 
to the Ubisoft E3 Show Mania show match. I'm going to challenge shoutcaster Joe Miller, and with me is the lovely, but also three-time world champion Counter-Strike player, Miss Harvey. Thank you, thank you very much, and thanks to everyone here at in attendance at the Los Angeles Theater, as well as everyone watching the show online. Now, let's meet the teams. Introducing the red team, Aisha and the Rocket Angels. First up, she's a seven-time Russian Counter-Strike champion. Let's hear it for Venema. She's joined in the middle by five-time Counter-Strike world champion, Ali. And finally, a two-time Russian Counter-Strike champion. Let's meet Marla. Let's hear it one more time for Aisha and the Rocket Angels. in the blue corner representing the hopes and dreams of the whole male gender here's the viscous all-star rocket <laughs> all right so i made a mistake it's obviously rail railgun all-stars all right so here's a water Warcraft veteran and a popular youtube personality meet swifty Hailing from Sweden, he's a 12-time Counter-Strike World Champion. Say hello to Spawn! <laughs> and last but not least, he's a pioneer of esports since 2002. Please help me welcome pro gamer Sturmy! <laughs> now that you met the players, let's go over the rules. All right. So what you're going to be playing today is the Elite mode created exclusively for Shoot Mania, which is still at Alpha stage. So this is a three-on-three -three competition, but with a twist. In each round, one team will have only one player in the arena. He'll be facing off against three opponents. The defending players will be equipped with rocket launchers. Once the attacking player is hit with two rockets, he is eliminated. The good news, though, for the attacker is that he's got a railgun, which eliminates his opponents in just one shot. And each round, the roles are reversed. The first team to three rounds wins the match. All right, I think we're ready for a fast-paced match show. Players, are you guys ready? Yeah. Let the games begin. So here we go then, Shoot Mania. This is eSports, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, we have two fine teams of professional gamers going up against each other. We are going to be seeing the Railgun All-Stars taking on the Rocket Angels in what should be an amazing, amazing matchup. So let's see who's going to be attacking first. It will actually be for the Rocket Angels. First of all, Ali. Let's see what you can do here right off the start. In this round, early on, you've got a street speed boost jump pad, which you can decide to go straight through the middle or here, as Ali's just done, off to the side a little. She does have that railgun, so all she needs to do is land a shot onto each of these players and she will win the round. But oh, as you can see, oh, the rockets have come down and oh. the boys starting off brilliantly there. Three rockets coming in, two of them connecting, 1-0. Yeah. So I think Alice made a strategy mistake right here. She was tried to go through the tunnel, but she didn't succeed. So she was stuck in there and the, the three guys just hit him one by one. So next up, Sturmy, who was famed for his accuracy, actually, in games that he played before. And with this railgun, you can see his movement is not bad either, moving straight into the main area of this map. And the girls taking a different strategy this time around. They're going to go slowly, but there's the first shot from Sturmy. He's looking now down towards Venema. Of course, a seven-time Russian Counter-Strike champion. They're staying behind the fences, oh, which you can't nice shoot shot. behind. Venema will peek out, and we're down to a one versus one with Ali versus oh. Sturmy, and Sturmy will land the final shot. Oh. And that is 2-0 and game point All right, for guys, the Railgun All-Stars. I think the girls need some cheer up, right? Let's hear go it. Girls! Let's go, girls! So, Marla on the attack. She knows it as well. Let's see what she decides to go for from this early start. And actually, it's a quick Ooh. move straight into the middle Ooh. here. Two of the boys oh. right in front. There's the shot onto Sturmy. Oh. There's the shot onto Spawn. And only one more needed. It's Swifty, the World of Warcraft veteran who's standing in her way. Now, there's a second objective here, apart from killing your opponents. When the clock at the top reaches zero, we don't even need to talk about that one. Marla will take three, takes a vow, 2-1 to the Railgun All-Stars. Every time she saw one, they were eliminated right away. 
So, this is still a dangerous time. Two to one is the scoreline. Spawn, 12 times Counter-Strike World Champion, is now on the attack with the Railgun. All he needs to do is take the three players out, and the Railgun All-Stars will win this game. Let's see what he can do. There's the first one onto Venema. Not quite landing the shot, though. Onto Marla, who's doing a great job of actually dodging these rails so far. Will connect with a rocket. Only one more rocket needed, and Spawn will go down, which means a final game in this matchup. He's got three seconds waiting to get here onto the capture point. The goal can be captured, and he will capture it, and the Railgun All-Stars will win the game three to one. And well, a fantastic, fantastic performance. Some great play by both of these teams. And of course, sportsmanship along the way as well. Right. Let's hear it once again, guys. Congratulations, guys. Let's have another big round of applause. If you enjoy the game, you can register right now for the beta on shootmedia.com. And as a reminder, the grand final of the E3 Shoot Media competition will be held at the Ubisoft booth this Wednesday, June 6th at 11 a.m. Pacific time and broadcasted online on Twitch TV. On top of that, your host for the event will be day nine, so make sure you don't miss it, guys. My name is Joe Miller. And I'm Mr. RV, and we'll see you at the booth. Woo! All right, let's go. Well, I gotta tell you something. That hurt. Please. That yeah, hurt. Deep down. Good. Tastes like pennies, you man. Like Losing it. tastes like pennies. Don't eat like pennies. That at all. Yeah. Unfortunately, even though you won the match, uh -huh. uh, I'm not, I don't have authority to hand the, the show over to you. That's okay. I have a mic. Yeah, no, I'm going to take the mic from you as well. <laughs> no! <laughs> you got, okay, you're gonna fantastic. You're going to go back to, yeah. I did that. Don't though. gloat, though. It's not attractive. I'm going to go backstage. Yeah, go back there. Enjoy. Uh, Shoot Mania is just one example of how committed Ubisoft is to esports and to crushing my dreams in front of a, an audience of millions. And with its free to play model, Ubisoft is giving users new ways to experience its most popular brands as well as discover innovative new games. Take a look. Awesome. So many free to play games. It's so killer. And now, here with a few words about what's in store for the future of Ubisoft, please welcome to the stage Ubisoft co founder and CEO, Yves Guillemot. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you, Aisha. Hello, everyone. So, today I would like to show you a new project that we have been working on. And I think this new product is going to revolutionize the way players interact with each other. So this new IP is, uh, has been created by a very talented team. We've been working on it for more than two years now. And uh, you will see it in a minute. Now, we have a question. You know, who is really managing the world we are in? Let's see what it is. Thank you. In the summer of 2003, the lights went out for 55 million Americans across the Northeast. Panic spread throughout New York State, injuring hundreds. 11 people died in the dark. What was to blame? A small vulnerability inside the state's transmission control room. 
Raymond Kenny, a disgruntled employee, unleashed a virus and walked away. Four hours later, the system overloaded and the grid shut down. Ten years on, modern systems have advanced exponentially. 2011 marked the installation of America's first central operating system. CTOS is a computer software that manages entire cities, providing centralized control over subway lines, traffic lights, surveillance cameras, and electricity grids. A computer now controls a major city, but who controls the computer? The answer is private companies that have everything to gain from a CTOS. Personal data collection is the key commodity. You are no longer an individual. You are a data cluster bound to a vast global network. Last year, the average American cast a digital shadow of over 2.3 gigabytes. What does that represent? Of course, there are credit cards, medical records, and reading habits, but a CTOS includes much more. Massive data silos track and sort every moment of your digital life, revealing how you think and what you believe. That information could be turned against you, not just to sell products, but to influence your world views. CTOS directly links your personal information to the physical systems you use every day, essentially providing a direct line to your bedroom laptop. Because all data is interconnected, from Nigerian email scams to hardcore pornography, online shopping to emergency services, it's all part of the same network. Ten years ago, one man shut down the entire Northeast from a central control room. Today, everything can be hacked. No one knows what part of the system will be exploited, but everyone agrees the next assault will do more than just turn out the lights. I'm Jonathan Morin, I'm a creative director at Ubisoft Montreal, and today we're here to introduce the hyper-connected world of CTOS. In our game, not only do you play within an open city, but for the very first time, the city becomes your weapon. You are Aiden Pierce, a man shaped by violence, obsessed with surveillance. You will experience the power of controlling an entire infrastructure and surveillance system. Every citizen's darkest secrets will be at your fingertips. Think about it a second. What would you do with that kind of power? Be ready to strike with your weapons, your fists, and your wits. But enough said, and let's look at the game. We're here at the 
gallery opening of media mogul Joseph DeMarco's Dot Connection, an eccentric art show featuring Spanish Chicago's top artists. As you can see, the turnout is a glorious success. Showrunner Jeremy Lynch has DeMarco on the announcement that the ongoing production of Dot Connection will be held online. Yeah, you gotta keep it moving, man. I've seen maybe two people come back out. Mine's on. Hello. 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 Mary? Fucking thing. Come on. Come on. We're back. We're back. Hi. I'm Joseph Marco. Walking in Dot Connection. My digital gallery made of underground art and music. I hope you all enjoy viewing, listening, and interacting with the pieces as much as I do. Drink more. standing here for 45 minutes in this DeMarco art bullshit charity. I spent all afternoon getting her ready for you. She's oiled, she's loose, she's perfect, just the way you like it. You done yet? This is another reason why we don't hang out. No. We don't hang out because we kill each other. See? You, my friend, much like this shit show, have no art, no nuance, no subtlety, and it really irritates the shit out of me sometimes. So why the fuck are you here? Is there a target here? You really want to know? Fuck you. It's DeMarco. DeMarco? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know what? In that case, consider that a donation. So, you got a plan there, tough guy? Because DeMarco's not even here. Uh, you're using yourself as bait. Oh, my God, I love it because it's such a horrible idea. Seems to be working to me. I'm gonna make sure DeMarco knows I'm here. I like it. Good hunting.
Joseph DeMarco. This is suicide. You understand that? You kill me, and you'll open a door you'll never close. You know what? Ah! You're gonna deliver a message for me. Yeah, sure. No, no way! Closing. He's on the move. All right. Get to your vehicle fast. I want everyone to track Pierce and protect him. At least for now. Tracking Pierce. You got it? I copy. 30 seconds away. Okay, we're moving in. Thanks a lot, everyone. Remember, connection is power, but be careful what you do with it. Have a great teach me, and thank you for your attention. Thank you. That was incredible. I want to say that uh, I'm, I'm a gamer first, and a... And a and a <laughs> woman a, yes later a woman way later like seven <laughs> seven rounds down that was so awesome i was like hovering watching that, that was i almost fainted they, they resuscitated so i'm they, good they, they had to give you a little right. like, clear on the yeah, chest yeah, yeah. they didn't know. ask if it was clear everyone's passed out over there now <laughs> unbelievably that was so cool any final thoughts yeah uh, uh i try not to think but uh, i do want to remind everybody we can check out uh you play for exclusive interviews and behind the scenes stuff with the game teams and so go there and i'll see you yeah and uh, i just want to thank you all for coming i this was insanely fun. I feel I, sad that I can't play all this stuff right freaking now. I know, I know. Well, you can, some of it. Some of it, yeah, on the yeah. floor. So I hope you guys have a great E3. Come down to the booth and do that shit. Bye. Ow!